So I'm back out here. This is the Bear Claw Poppy Trail area, the bike trail area. Um, we decided to come back down for the very last little bloom of the poppies. There's a few plants holding on. So they are dry, right? This doesn't have any pollen on it. I've walked around, I found two plants with pollen. Um, no bees on them yet. Lindsay's at another site this morning where there's a little bit more blooming activity still. I wanted to come back out though and look for that Perdita that Lindsay found, that one that um, is in the subgenus Zerophasma. So I've been doing some more research on these Perdita in the and most, uh, many of them, as I mentioned in that video I did earlier, uh, many of them are specialists on primrose. And so I was looking around to see if there was any plants that I was missing, maybe down in the wash or something. And I ended up finding these plants. So this is uh, a, a, a primrose. It's in the genus Enothera. Generally, when I think of Enothera, I think of these bigger white or yellow flowers. This one has these small flowers on it. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna look around on it for these Perdita this morning. Uh, I kind of probably need to wait till the sun peeks out. So hopefully when the sun comes out, I'll start finding some of these. So as I walk along here, you can see there are these little teeny white flowers. This is the primrose along this trail here. There's not a ton of them, but there are a few. And so hopefully I'll be able to find some of these fairy bees on them. And so far, I don't see anything happening. It's about 65 degrees, um, a little bit chilly, but there's no wind. It's supposed to be about 100 today, so should be a good day for it. We'll see what we find. Okay, so I've been out here a little over an hour. Uh, I didn't see the first fairy bee until about 20 minutes after the sun first peaked up over the mountain. Uh, then another 30 minutes later, I found a second one, both females, uh, on these evening primrose flowers. So there's only about maybe six different flowers and I'm walking back and forth between them looking for these fairy bees. Uh, so they seem to be kind of consistent on these flowers, but there's really almost nothing else blooming around. And so far, all of these specimens, uh, both the ones now that I've collected and the ones that Lindsay collected last week, there's not a lot of pollen on them. They have really hairy legs, especially compared to some other Perdita species, but it could be that these kind of really focus on other plants that just aren't blooming this year. And what we are seeing are some of the, the bees that have been bet hedging. They're coming out this year just in case there's something available for them. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna keep looking a little bit, see what I can find. I'll bring these specimens back to the lab to make some comparisons between them and some of the related species. So we can really try to determine if these are new species or not. Okay, so I wanted to come and check to see if these bees were also out in the evening. Uh, relatives of this Perdita, other members of the subgenus Xerophasma, are known to be active in the evening, kind of in the, in the late evening light. That's why they have those big ocelli on the top of their head, those big simple eyes. It took me a little bit longer than I thought this evening to get out to this site. So it's a little bit darker than I was hoping for. I mean, it's still kind of light. I can see the flowers without my flashlight. The camera makes everything look a little bit darker. So I'm gonna spend some time and see if I can see any of these Perdita, these fairy bees, any of them active on these few flowers that are around. One difference is that right now it's 85 degrees uh, in the morning when I was seeing them, it was less than 70 degrees. It seems like I was seeing most activity between about 65 degrees and 70 degrees when the sun had just come up, but it wasn't hot yet. So I wonder if that'll make a difference in their activity patterns. I guess we'll see. Well, I didn't find anything when I came out in the evening, but Lindsay was at another site. She was at the White Dome Nature Preserve and some of the lands right around there. And she was actually finding some poppies that were still blooming. She actually found four of these Perdita. She found three females and one male, which is pretty neat. So they were visiting these poppies, but again, we don't know if they were actually collecting pollen or if they were just visiting for nectar or something else. So we have over 10 specimens now. We're gonna bring these back to the lab 
and we are going to compare them to other members of the subgenus Xeraphasma so we can try to see if this is a new species. So hopefully soon I will be posting a video about how you tell if a species that you're finding is a new species. I think that'll be kind of interesting for people to see. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to this channel so you can help support this research that we're doing. Thanks.